The question reads, a train overtakes two persons who are walking in the same direction in which the train is running at the rate of 4 km per hour and 7 km per hour and passes them completely in 15 and 16 seconds respectively. The length of the train in meters is. So basically it's talking about a train which overtakes two persons who are walking in the same direction in which the train is running at 4 km per hour and 7 km per hour respectively and passes them in what? 15 and 16 seconds respectively. So there are two different cases, train overtaking person 1 who is walking at 4 km per hour in 15 seconds and the train overtaking person 2 walking at 7 km per hour in 16 seconds. Based on this we have to find out the length of the train. Now let's assume the speed of the train is st, speed of the train is st, speed of the man 1, speed of the man 1 is 4 and speed of the man 2 is 7. Okay. Of course these are not the assumptions, these are the actual values, speed of the train is st. Now what is the equation to be used? See when a train is crossing a man and when both the persons are running in the same direction, we have to take the difference of the speeds, right? the relative speed concept. So speed of the train minus the speed of the man should be equal to the distance travelled. So the distance travelled here is nothing but the length of the train because the length of the man is considered to be negligible divided by the time taken. This is the equation and we will have two such equations. Let us assume length of the train is LT and this is what we need to evaluate LT equals to 1. So substitute in case 1 speed of the train st minus speed of the man is 4 equals to length of the train lt by time taken is what 15 seconds and in case 2 we have speed of the train st minus speed of the man is 7 equals to length of the train lt divided by time taken is 16 seconds. See one point that you need to understand is the equation is not balanced what we have on the left hand side here is in kilometers per hour right 4 kilometers per hour you see speeds are given in kilometers per hour. On the right hand side what we have is, is uh, you know second in, in seconds and since it's asking us to find out the length of the train in meters I can say LT is in meters. So the right hand side of the equations is meters per second, left hand side is kilometers per hour. So convert kilometers per hour to meters per second. What can be done? How do you convert this? Multiply by 5 by 18, right? So this becomes 5 by 18 times of this, 5 by 18 times of this. So two equations and two unknowns, just solve, solve and get the answer. What are the two unknowns here? ST and LT. ST and LT are the two unknowns and there are two equations so 1 and 2. So simplify these two equations, solve for these two equations and you will know what the length of the train LT is. You are getting it? Left hand side is speed in meters per second, speed in meters per second. Right hand side is distance by time again in meters and seconds. Alright? So find out ST first maybe and then yeah I mean from these two equations it's, it's better you evaluate ST first and then put that back in one of the equations to get LT. So I can say 15 times of 5 by 18 into ST minus 4 equals to 16 times of 5 by 18 into ST minus 7. So 5 by 18 gets cancelled on both the sides. So 16 ST minus 15 ST is ST which equals 16 times 7 minus 15 times 4. Yeah, 16 into 7, what is that? 70 plus 42, 112 minus 15 force is 60. So this is 52. 52 meters per second, remember? Or, or just substitute 52 numerically, don't worry about the this thing here. Substitute 52 here in this equation. Even if you divide, I mean some of you are suggesting dividing both the equations, even if you divide what happens, LT gets cancelled. I mean I am actually dividing both the equations. If you see, well it looks like comparison of the two but it is division right. When I divide both the equations, upon cross multiplication this is what we get. Okay. So speed is 52, now substitute this back, 52 kilometers per hour of course, now substitute this back in one of the equations. So I can say 5 by 18 into 52 minus 4 equals LT by 15. So 52 minus 4 is 48, right, 52 minus 4 is 48, 48 by 18 is 8 by 3, this here goes 5 times, so LT is equal to 5 into 8 into 5, so 25 8 is 200. 200 meters. I think more than the way you solve the equation, what's important is how you use the equations, right? Remember, this is the equation to be used when a train is crossing a man. 
the relative speed is difference of the speeds since both of them are traveling in the same direction and the distance to be considered is only the length of the train the length of the man is negligible divided by the time taken so two different scenarios given to us substitute both of them here and solve the two equations to get either the speed of the train or the length of the train option c 200 is the final answer